Well, hey there guys, Jennifer Kilpatrick here with Caldwell Banker Apex. As I strive to continue to be your real estate resource, I wanted to go ahead and bring to you this week's Monday market update. Okay, so let's be honest. I was out of town last week and apparently the entire world decided to flip on its side and go a little topsy-turvy. Um, but that's the reason I think videos like this are super important. So I love real estate because it's incredibly predictable and you know what to expect. So here's what's going on in Forney ISD and pre-existing sales in the last week. So let's start with number one. Um, we have just over 150 houses that are currently on the market. Of those, 41 of those houses went under contract. Wow, that's kind of a big amount. And then we had about 20 that sold. Why are all of those numbers important? Well, because here's the truth. Before we went into, we went into COVID-19, we had a housing shortage. Um, guess what? Now that all those shelter in place movements and things of that sort are lifting, we still have a housing shortage. Um, I know you're probably asking, why do we have a housing shortage? Um, it's really simple. We do not have enough pre-existing homes or even new construction in certain price points to meet the needs of the buyers. And with interest rates being so low and things of that sort, it's a great time to buy. So while there's a lot going on in our world and I do not ever dive into that kind of stuff, um, just know that one of the things that I love about housing is it's incredibly predictable and it's where you find solace and safety and sanction um, from all of that's going on in the world and I believe it is the number one indicator of long-term wealth. So that is what's going on within Forney ISD this week and as always guys, as much as I want to be your real estate resource, I want to be your everything resource. So if you guys need anything at all or if I can assist in any way, please don't hesitate to reach out and we'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.